kidding. In this video, I want to tell you three ways that you can make money just using your mobile phone. And I'm going to actually video giving examples of me using my phone, showing you exactly those three ways. Now, this video is not going to be a video showing you how you can do surveys for the next 27 years to make $13. No, no, no. This video is also not going to be about these apps that you download and you watch videos and you leave comments and you get paid 14 cents every single time you leave a comment. No, this video is going to be three legitimate ways you can make money on your mobile phone. And these ways aren't just for the mobile phone. They do work on the computer. They do work as a big scale business. The reason why I've said just for the mobile phone is because I wanna show you the power of having a smartphone and what you can do with it and how much money you can actually make with it. Now, I've seen so many people do this kind of video, which is kind of where I got the idea from, except I've watched a lot of their videos and all of their videos, they're just telling you to download this app and then fill this survey in and then watch this app whilst doing a handstand, whilst filling in this survey. I was just like, not only, not only is this rubbish, you're gonna make absolutely no money from it. And not only that, I feel like a lot of them were sponsored by those apps. Unfortunately, I am not big enough on YouTube to be sponsored just yet. So I think it's fair to say you can really trust my content because you know, I don't mind saying one thing is absolute garbage, like it just doesn't bother me. So I don't wanna tell you any of that kind of stuff. I just wanna show you these three really, really cool ways. But before I tell you these three ways, and before we go into detail into them, I just want to ask you if to obviously subscribe. And if you're new here, my name is Shimmy Morris. I make videos about print on demand, making money online, Amazon FBA, all these kind of things. And the majority of my viewers haven't yet subscribed and I am desperately trying to hit 100K so that maybe one day I can have a sponsored video. Who knows? But I feel like you are the reason I'm going to hit 100K. So please hit that subscribe button and let's just get cracking on with the video. All right, so all three of these ideas use normal e-com techniques, like e-commerce techniques, right? And I feel, I'm feeling quite generous today. So if you smash that like button, I'm gonna give you one bonus technique. Now, obviously I'm not gonna know whether or not you smash the like button before it's too late, but I feel like you trust me, I trust you. So smash that like button and I'm gonna give you a fourth bonus tip. So the first idea, you heard me say this before, is eBay dropshipping. Did you know you could do eBay dropshipping just from your phone? So before I tell you exactly how to do it on your phone and I record my phone screen, let me just quickly tell you what the idea is. Well, the idea in, in short is finding someone else's product on eBay, buying that product, retaking photos, relisting it on eBay, and then selling it. And all you have to do is then when someone buys it is fulfill the order with that original person's item. That is the general idea. Let me just quickly show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is download the eBay app. I know I said this wasn't gonna be a video all about apps, but when I say that, I mean, there's not gonna be a video about these crappy, unheard of apps. eBay is a, a, a big, famous company. So click the eBay app. Right, and you, this is what it looks like, right? Very, very simple. So how do you do it? Just using your phone. Well, as you can see, I'm on the eBay app. Let's search for cufflinks, okay? Cufflinks, nice and simple item to repackage and sell, okay? A watch movement cufflinks, no, too expensive. We need to go for something cheap. Right, here we go, something simple. Two pound 50, they have got how many left in stock? Oh, there's only four available, so we want to leave that one. Right, let's go for one that we see a lot in stock. Just browsing, browsing, browsing. Let's just do these ones, okay? These ones, they should have a ton in stock. Select the color, let's say light blue. Quantity, 12 plus available. They've got plenty in stock. Right, now you can see these are the photos. This is the extent of the photos. So what I would do as a photographer is I would buy this for £1.95. I would take really, really good photos. I'd take photos with the model, you know, like putting it on with the shirt. I'd take close-up photos. I'd have like writing, saying the quality, all these kind of things. And then what I'd do is I'd save this item, right? So let's click heart, that way I've saved it. And now let's go to selling. I would click list an item. I would describe what it is, so I don't actually remember what it was, um, but, okay, so it's men's not cufflink. So I would list an item, men's not cufflinks, right? Super easy, no matching. Okay, so I could, I could tick this one, but instead I'm gonna click create a new listing, new 
with tags or without tags, find out what it has, right? And then I'm gonna put my professional taken photos in here. I'm gonna kind of make a different, better title, a different description, make it better, right? And I'm gonna list it as a buy it now for let's say $2.99 or $3.99, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is when I get a sale, I'm going to go over to this person's item. I'm going to click buy it now. And I'm going to put in the address of the person who bought it from me, okay? And I'm going to add a note saying, please don't include an invoice or a receipt. Now, a lot of you are thinking, maybe this isn't okay, you're not allowed to do this, but actually it's absolutely fine. You're allowed to do this for drop shipping purposes. Just make sure not to completely copy their listing, which is why I say buy the item first. Again, you can buy it on your phone, you can take photos on your phone, you can use your phone for the entire process of this and you can relist it on your phone and then you can fulfill orders on your phone. It's really, really that simple. And it's a way of you, you know, to be watching a movie on Netflix and just doing this side hustle making, who knows, 100, 200, 300 a day. It's, it's a bit of work. I don't recommend doing this for, you know, a crazy long time, but do this to build up a bit of income and then go and maybe buy a laptop if you don't have one and start a big company. The second idea, what is the second idea? Just using your mobile phone. Well, the second idea is affiliate marketing through YouTube. Well, what is this idea? What does affiliate marketing mean? Affiliate marketing is basically selling someone else's already created offer and getting some sort of commission, okay? And most people have an affiliate deal. For example, we have affiliate deals for our course. If you sell our course, you'll get a percentage. If um, you sell Photoshop, right, you get a percentage. There's affiliate deals for everything. Like, you've seen it, like Canva, place it. The, okay, the list is endless. There's no point me listing affiliate deals because it's endless. But what you could do is really, really simply, and this is a bit of a difficult one. Oh, and by the way, let me just quickly tell you, I'm rating these difficult levels. I'm rating these out of 10. So back, just zooming back, um, the eBay one, I gave that a three out of 10 for difficulty because it is just so blooming simple. Back to affiliate marketing, I've given this a six out of 10 difficulty because it's slightly more complicated and it takes a bit longer to actually set up. So what would you do here? Well, firstly, you would browse the interweb on your phone and you would find some cool affiliate deals. So let's have a look. Let me start my screen recording again. Right, let's do um, best affiliate deals, okay? Easily, now you can come up with Ah, so you can become an affiliate for VPN websites, you can become an affiliate for Amazon Associates, eBay Partners, Shopify affiliate program, ClickBank. ClickBank have tons. So what you would do is you would find a few affiliate programs, find a few affiliate like deals, okay? And then you would download the YouTube app, okay? This is the YouTube app, it's really, really simple. And what you would do is you would click that button there and you would click video. Now, either you would upload a video or you would pre-record a video, and I recommend actually uploading, um, pre-recording a video, so don't click this record button. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the camera and you want to click video and you want to just start recording something, okay? So, you can see I'm recording. So what I would do here is I would give a review on one of these affiliate deals. So let's say it's the VPN thing. So I would say, guys, I've been testing out a few VPNs and I've decided that I'm going to do a head-to-head -head test of the three best VPNs on the internet right now. Those VPNs are, and then I would start talking about these VPNs, I'd give, you know, all the pros and cons, and then in the link, the link in the description will have a, a link for you to go and purchase each of those VPNs and they will all be affiliate links. So if you went and purchased them, I would get a commission, right? That is the second idea. It's really, really simple. And yes, your videos might not get very many views to start with, but over time, and I'm living proof of this, over time, keep at it, right? Be persistent and eventually you will start getting some sales. And that is, in my mind, one of the best ways to do affiliate marketing, especially now in 2020, when people really connect with you. And just make sure you're completely honest. So don't, don't try and get the sale, right? Be honest. If, the, if a company is bad, say it's bad right? Don't say it's good just so you can get the affiliate commission, right? That's the second idea. The third idea on how you can make money using your phone is called the Facebook Marketplace, right? Now, what is this idea? Well, I hear you ask. The Facebook Marketplace is basically like eBay and it's just a place for you to list items and sell them, right? And it's a bit different to eBay because at the moment, there are no fees, you just have to list the item, someone will come to your house, pick it up, or if they don't mind you to ship the item out to them, then you can go to the post office and ship it out to them. But how does that idea work? Well, very simply, and it starts with 
going around your house, okay? Go around your house and look for items that you can sell. And don't tell me that you don't have anything around your house that you can sell. In fact, I'm gonna look around this room of stuff that I don't really use that I could probably sell, okay? Give me, put 30 seconds on the clock and let's see how many items I can find. Okay, right. I use these whenever I go traveling, but that's not happening anymore because of Corona. I, uh, I've used this once in the last two months, probably, okay? What else? Okay. Let's have a look at what I have found here. Well, uh, I've got a GoPro chest mount, okay? That's the first one. Let me focus on this chest mount so you can see. Lovely, right? Second thing, I use this when I travel, but as you can probably tell, Corona has happened and I don't seem to be going away and I haven't used these in a very long time. Now, obviously you might not have these expensive items that you can sell, but you never know. This I could probably sell for 200 pounds. This I could probably sell for the, the GoPro thing I could probably sell for like 20. This is a uh, this is a camera lens which I actually found a while ago and I got it here because I do know I want to sell it. This I could probably get 254 and I've used it maybe three times. Yes, I buy stuff when I shouldn't, I know. This is a big camera light which I don't really need because I've got this one up here and this is a travel one and I have a home office, I don't need to travel. So. That's easily, you know, another 150. An iPad, right? An iPad. This I've had for quite a while, but I never really use it. I kind of only use it when I'm traveling. Again, I don't really travel as often as I'd like to because of what's going on, and I don't know how my traveling plans are gonna be affected by what's going on. But, let me just refocus. But I could probably get 250, 300 for this, right? That is easily a thousand pounds worth of stuff. So. Once you've gone around your house and you've found stuff, because I know you have stuff, don't say you don't. You definitely have stuff. It might not come up, it might not come to such expensive items. It could be books, it could be, you know, chest of drawers that you're not using anymore, it could be old cupboards, whatever it could be, you have items that you can sell. And that is when the Facebook Marketplace comes in. And this is how we're gonna use it. So let me record my screen again. This difficult rating difficulty rating, by the way, I've given a two out of ten because of how blooming easy it really is. Right? So all we have to do is let's get Right, let's say we're selling the lens. So what I would do is I would take photos of the lens. Do, 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 do. Take photos of the lens. Obviously I would take it out of the packaging, take more professional kind of photos. And then I would head over to Facebook and I would click this little marketplace button at the bottom and I would click the sell here at the top. I'd click oh, items, right? I would Go through the steps. This is how easy it is. This is just, oh, okay, I'd add my photos. So let's see this and this. Done, obviously I'd add better photos, add a title, I'd add a price, I'd add a location because that's where they'd pick the item up from or you'd meet at a, a mutual spot or if they don't mind you shipping, you can ship it to them. Description, list a single item, click next. Once I, once I put all the things in there, right, I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna show you. Yeah, let's discard this. And it will show up here, right? You've got tons and tons and tons of things here. Absolutely tons, okay? So that is, and this is all using my phone again. I have found the items around my house. I've taken photos with my phone. I have listed it on Facebook on my phone. I have spoken to them on Messenger on my phone and I've met up with them and I've given them the item and they've given me money. I've done this so many times. I've sold, oh my gosh, I've sold a computer. I've sold a watch. I've sold uh, an oven. I've sold a chest of drawers. I've sold so much, I've sold a Google Home, I've sold literally so many different things, right? I've sold shoes, I've sold a little camera, it's, it's, it's insane. I'm actually thinking about starting a, um, a new series on this YouTube channel called Selling Shit Sundays. And I wanna make a video every Sunday, right? Every Sunday's video will be me going around my house, finding a new item, listing it, selling it that day and documenting the process and showing you how, how it can be done. And you could join me and you can sell your own shit on Sunday. So those are the three ideas. You can see how pretty simple they are and they are all using your phone. Now, like I said, these ideas aren't exclusive to a mobile phone. You've got Facebook Marketplace on the computer, you have got affiliate marketing on the computer, and you've got the eBay dropshipping idea on the computer. So these ideas aren't exclusive to the phone. The reason I've made this video about the mobile phone is because 
more people will have a phone than they do a laptop. And a phone is so much more accessible than a laptop. Like I said, you can literally be on Netflix watching, I don't know, the latest movie of whatever, the latest TV show, and doing one of these ideas and making some extra income. Now, I know that you have liked this video. I know you've clicked that like button and I'm now probably at 8 million likes. One million. So, I'm going to tell you this fourth special bonus idea and it involves you actually having to leave your house okay now if you don't want to leave your house then by all means forget this idea but this idea i have just started researching and i'm probably going to go into because it sounds like such fun but it's the sneaker reselling uh you know flipping market and what it involves is it involves you going to outlets so if you're in america they're all over the place in england there's not as many but there's still a few it involves you going to outlets like the nike outlet adidas you know, sneaker outlets, going and finding good sneaker deals. And then it involves you, again, using your phone. Let me record my screen. It involves you using your phone and downloading an app called StockX, okay? Now, don't think this is one of those apps like these other people are talking about. It's not. This is also a legitimate app. Um, it's like an e-commerce app, and you've got it on the computer as well. But what you do is you would go to these uh, outlets, whatever, and you would find shoes, and once you found a some cool pairs of shoes you would search this app and what you would do with this app is you would let's say you find a pair of shoes you would search that shoe and let's say it's this shoe right the jordan one mid right what you'd do is you'd go over to sell and you'd see what people are selling them for right and you see what bids have been put in so you can see let's say you go to an outlet and you find these shoes in a size 11 and a half i would click 11 and a half and i would click sell now right now let's say I can get those shoes for $120, right? I know that I can sell them and with all the transaction fees I've made, I can get $166 like that. All it involves is me doing is shipping the shoe to them. They'll give me a label, they'll check the shoe and they'll send it off to the customer and I would have made $40 profit, right? Now, obviously it's not as simple as that because you've got to find the shoes. Finding the shoes can be quite difficult, but I think this is a really, really fun thing to do and you can probably hit up if you're in America or a whole bunch of um, shoe shops. I don't know the names of shoe shops in America. I sorry, I'm sorry, I don't live there. But in England, you can hit up JD Sports, Foot Lockers, all up and down the country. You can hit up Adidas's, Nikes. You never know, and you can find shoes that you can literally buy and resell before you even left the shop. So it's kind of a guaranteed, you know, income. The only thing you have to do is make sure the shoes have a good box, like a, a good condition, all of that kind of stuff. That is the fourth idea that you can literally do to make money just using your mobile, and I guess now you need to kind of use your legs as well to get to the shop but you get the idea and it's a really really fun idea so those are four really really cool ideas that you can do to make money just using your mobile phone i hope you like them now if you have been watching up until this point right we're a good maybe 15 minutes into the video you clearly are liking the video and you're clearly liking this face so if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button i don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button it's not going anywhere well i guess it is well it's not but hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos that you could find really really interesting as normal i will see you on Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Video up here, this is the four, um, vid four best businesses go head to head. I make a video about, you know, what I personally think are the four best businesses. I put them head to head, pros and cons, and tell you which ones I think you could start. And that video is right over here. So you can click that video, go watch, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. And if not, I'll see you in Thursday's video. Thank you for watching.